As it turns out, we would not need these big space companies anymore. Companies like Blue Origin, Boeing, SpaceX, and even NASA will be completely obsolete in making our rockets for space travel when we can just build one ourselves using a 3D printer. Fine, that is a crazy idea, and admittedly we cannot actually hop on one of such printers right now to build a fully functional rocket from scratch, but 3D printing of some rocket parts have been done successfully for several years now, and the scope of the capacity of the 3D printer and spacecraft design continues to increase as the years go by. Earlier this month, Musk's privately owned commercial space innovation company, SpaceX, launched its first crew-capable spacecraft, Crew Demo-1, for its first demo mission. What makes this rocket interesting and worthy of note is that it is a 3D printed spacecraft for the most part. According to Elon Musk, 3D printing technology is used not only in the Super Draco thruster engine in the Dragon spacecraft, but also in one of the engines of the Falcon 9 rocket. The Super Draco thruster engine is an upgraded version of the current Draco engine in use by SpaceX for maneuvering its Dragon spacecraft during orbit and re-entry. Furthermore, the Super Draco engines will also be used on the crewed version of the next generation Dragon version 2 spacecraft. It will power the launch escape system of the vehicle, which is fully integrated into the spacecraft. Up till this point, Elon Musk has revolutionized space travel, space colonization, and the economy above the Earth's orbit and beyond. It makes sense that he receives credit for revolutionizing spacecraft engineering as well. General O'Shaughnessy of the US military has even mentioned that Elon Musk and SpaceX may have completely changed the ability to detect threats in America through satellite clusters in space back in May. But that is just by the way. Musk has been researching 3D printing for nearly three years, and last year, SpaceX assembled the Super Draco engine chamber from Inconel, a high-performance super alloy, by using direct metal laser sintering, DMLS, and this part was completely built in-house. The company went on to fire the engine chamber at full thrust, which gets to about 16,000 pounds per engine. This did successfully validate the reliability of the 3D printed parts, and now, SpaceX is testing the engines out for its crewed space flight program. The benefits of 3D printing engine parts in spacecraft are numerous. For one, it reduces lead time by a great magnitude compared to machine production, from the first concept or idea to the first fire. The test takes scarcely more than three months now. Qualification testing for the Super Draco was concluded last May including multiple starts, multiple fire durations, and extreme off nominal flow and temperature. The Super Draco can even be restarted multiple times in a row if necessary. More so, Astronauts can deep throttle, which is an incredible move and gives them high precision in the journey. Musk claims that during the fire test, the Super Draco's engine was fired in two different profiles, launch escape and landing burn, and it throttled between 20 and 100%. The engine chamber itself was fired 20 times during the fire. SpaceX performed this test flight without a crew on board to demonstrate its capacity to safety and reliably transport astronauts to and fro the International Space Station ISS. The Crew Dragon vehicle was designed from the beginning to be one of the safest human space vehicles ever built. Currently, it has refined the United States' capability to deliver and return significant amounts of cargo to and from the International Space Station. It has completed 16 missions to and from the orbiting space laboratory, supporting human exploration of space, and it is equipped with environmental control, system control, and life support system, thereby providing a comfortable and safe environment for crew members. The spacecrafts are also equipped with a highly reliable launch escape system that can deliver the crew to safety at any point during ascent, or in the unlikely event of an anomaly in the launch pad. This system is also powered by Draco's full 3D printed engine. While the crew can take manual control of the spacecraft if necessary, the Crew Dragon missions will dock and undock with the International Space Station autonomously. After undocking from the space station and re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere, the Crew Dragon will use an enhanced parachute system to splash down into the Atlantic Ocean. On this first flight, the Dragon will hold about 400 pounds of crew supplies and equipment to the ISS. In addition, the spacecraft will be carrying mass simulation and anthropomorphic test devices that are fitted with sensors around the head, neck, and spine to gather data preceded SpaceX's second demonstration mission with NASA astronauts on board the spacecraft. It takes between 5 and 10 months to travel from Earth to Mars, depending on how many factors, such as the speed of the launch, the alignment of the two planets, and how much fuel you are willing and able to burn. Regardless, SpaceX scientists and engineers are making the grueling journey seem close with each rocket launch, 3D printed engine, and orbit shuttle project they undertake. Perhaps it all seems too optimistic as the years progress, as SpaceX has had its fair share of setbacks along the way, but the continuous influx of NASA contracts keeps pushing the company to research and develop some ridiculously incredible initiatives, especially in 3D printing. In 2014, SpaceX revealed a Falcon 9 rocket with a 3D printed main oxidizer valve in one of the engines. According to the company, the mission marked the first time they had ever flown a 3D printed part in a spacecraft. 
The valve operated successfully with high pressure oxygen, under cryogenic temperatures, and high vibration. The company's Super Draco thrusters were also 100% 3D printed as well, which powers the Dragon spacecraft's launch escape system and allows the vehicle to land on Earth with pinpoint accuracy and may allow it to do so on another planet someday in the future. Along with the DML sintering to assemble the engine, it was also done using powder bed fusion and the chamber was printed on Inconel, the high performance super alloy that offers both high strength and toughness for increased reliability. It is estimated that the engines produce enough energy to detonate tons of TNT every second directing that energy into its exhaust that reaches temperatures of well over 3,000 degrees Celsius. Normally, for engines to do this without rapidly disassembling, in an unscheduled fashion, takes at least three years to engineer from scratch, most of which is taken up by the cyclical process of design, rebuilding, refine, and repeating. And this is because rocket engines are very complex. The Super Draco is not the only spacecraft to be built on the 3D printer. The Aerojet Rocketdyne is also a 3D printed rocket engine, and NASA has 3D printed rocket engine injectors that perform better than welded ones. But building a rocket this way is not cheap. When the RUD scrap heap starts to grow, investors begin to get restless, and a company's reputation suffers when it has to delay a launch schedule due to a problem with its rocket. Almost all new rocket companies and space startups are adopting 3D metal printing technology so they can bypass the hard years of repeated engineering before being able to get anything into space. NASA just awarded Made in Space a $73.3 million contract to demonstrate 3D printing spacecraft parts while in orbit using a small spacecraft called Archon 01. This craft will attempt to print two 32-foot beams that will eventually be used to hold solar arrays to both sides of itself. This Archon 01 is scheduled to launch on a Rocket Lab Electron rocket from New Zealand no earlier than 2022, according to NASA. This contract is the second phase of a NASA partnership with Made in Space. The startup has already successfully 3D printed a structural beam in a NASA facility that mimics the condition of space in 2017, but actual orbit will undoubtedly pose its own set of challenges that Made in Space would have to overcome. According to NASA, future lunar landers might come equipped with 3D printed rocket engine parts that will help bring on the overall manufacturing costs and reduce production time. They are investing in advanced manufacturing, one of the five industries of the future, to make this possible. Through a series of fire tests in November, NASA demonstrated that two additively manufactured engine components, a copper alloy combustion chamber and nozzle, both 3D printed out of high strength hydrogen resistant alloy, could withstand the same extreme combustion environments that traditionally manufactured metal structures experienced in flight. Let us know what you think of 3D printed spaceship engines in the comment section down below.